everybody. My name is Moody, obviously. Clearly. It's my channel. It's been a while since I've done a commentary. Picking stuff back up. I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's not like the end of Dust, but uh, interest in the game overall has been dying out since they announced uh, Legion possibly coming out. It's not, not greenlit, so it doesn't exist yet outside of a tech demo, but whatever. Uh, but while we're all still here, I'm going to try to pass some knowledge down to you. So this is going to be a little bit of a tutorial, give you a little bit of know-how. Maybe some of you will mm, get more enjoyment out of this game. Maybe, uh, maybe things will be more enjoyable in general <laughs> while this game still is going, while the player base is still up. So, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna be real sarcastic and. I'll probably get some flack for some stuff, because I'm going to be very blunt with you guys. So enjoy what I have to say. So what I'm going to talk about mostly is play and counterplay. You know, rock, paper, scissors. The rock, paper, scissors of dust. Uh, that's really just how things are balanced. Uh, regardless of what some people think, the balance in dust, not absolutely terrible now. It's gotten better. It's gotten much better. And really what a big problem that I freaking see all the time that like I really just want to get rid of is this terrible mentality that this community has. No offense to you guys. I really like you guys for the most part. Most of you are like some of you are just fucking obnoxious. Uh, but <laughs> but this game is horribly balanced. Uh, some things. Well, there's nothing in this game that's impossible to counter. Not one thing in this game is impossible to counter. And I want to try to really enforce that mindset that everything in this game has a counter. And most of the time, it's your or somebody's just complete inability or want to counter something. It's not even inability. It's laziness. A lot of people are just too fucking lazy to counter something. Which is why a lot of people scream, it's OP, in pub matches, because there is no counterplay to play in pub matches. Everybody just runs around like chickens with their fucking heads cut off, and people don't do what's necessary. So it's kind of this big issue, and you really run into these problems. Like, PC is kind of small. There's not too many people that play it, because that group of people actually try to take time to understand the mechanics of the game. And these are the people that everybody just kind of screams and cries about, like, when they play them. Oh, they're tryhards. And it's just, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. The people who play in, like, quote-unquote top corps, they can stomp you in frickin' standard gear. But most of us are so rich... Because we've been playing this game for so long that it doesn't matter what we use and it doesn't care. Like, nobody cares. You know, you just want to push yourself as far as you can to see how well you can do in a match, in a freaking pub match. Because most people in pub matches, it's... <laughs> in, in the last video I posted for, with my 60 and 4, somebody commented that it was like I was playing bots. And yes, it's like I'm playing bots in freaking pubs. That's how bad people are. Granted, when I started this game, I... I didn't go positive for like the first month I played. True story. I was freaking terrible. It was hard to understand. But, uh, you know, you learn. I took an effort to learn how the game was played because it seemed interesting and because it was hard. You know, which, I don't know. A lot of people don't stick around because it's too hard. But then you hit a certain threshold and then it clicks and then you start to do better. But I'm going to talk about play and counterplay. The first thing I'm going to really talk about is fittings for play and counterplay. Now, we're going to go into... The, we'll talk about the Kaldari Scout, since people give me crap about running my Kaldari suit. Which, I really don't care. You guys, no offense, can go screw yourselves <laughs> if you have a problem with the suit that I run. Uh, so the Kaldari, uh, people are... They always scream that it's OP. It does have some issues, like it does have a trifecta of high regen, ability to tank pretty high for a scout suit, and it has good E-War. So, but you can't have all of those things at once. If you have a high tank, you don't have high E-War. So, yeah. 
So, ex for example, in the last video I posted on Manus Peak, there was a Galente shotgunner that kept coming after me, but he never put a damp on his suit. So I never had to run precision. I didn't have to run precision at all because I picked him up when he ran when he would run up to me. So, therefore, I had no reason to remove tank from my suit. However, you have this. Uh, you kind of have this like rock paper scissors thing where if he would have thrown on a damp I would have thrown on precision and then he could have thrown on another damp but then once he throws on that second damp I can't counter him whatsoever Galente, actually the Galente scout is the only suit in this game that does not have a counter as much as you guys want to believe that it does it doesn't it doesn't it's a ghost it'll always be a ghost you'll never be able to pick it up once it hits a certain threshold it's a ghost. There's no counter to it. Uh, the Kaldari actually has to give up a lot if it wants to see. Like, in PC, if I'm in my Kaldari suit, chances are I have freaking 200 some HP because I have three or four precision on my suit. And I get insta ganked by Galente Scouts all day. Like, it sucks. It sucks. You don't go positive too much when you have that little HP and it doesn't really even matter anyway because they get under you. So, let's, let's talk about this some more. Bringing the right suit to the job. Bringing the right fit to the job. So, there's things you gotta think about. So, if there's a Kaldari giving you a lot of trouble, why would you bring a combat rifle to fight a Kaldari suit? Uh, combat rifle has negative five percent against shields. It's main tank. Why wouldn't you say bring a scrambler rifle? Which a basic scrambler rifle, even against a proto cal scout with four hundred shields, is going to kill it practically instantly. A visium, if you, if you even have a, a proto scrambler rifle, will charge shot a Kaldari scout in practically one hit. It'll be one charge shot and then one hit afterwards, insta-dead, no matter how much tank I have on that suit. Another example. Okay, Galente Scout, 900 frickin' armor. Yeah, it sucks. But up against a combat rifle, its main tank, armor, is where its strength is. So you're going to mow through it. Or you bring explosives, that's going to mow through it. So I, are you guys understanding this about play and counterplay, bringing the right tool to the right job? And say, for example, you need to hack a point, but you don't have that much time to do it. There's a lot of guys there, but you got to hack that point. So what are you going to do? You're going to come in in a suit with a code breaker to hack that point. Makes sense? Makes sense? Another thing. Sentinels. I, I, see, friggin', I see so much complaint about heavies. Yes, there's a lot of them now. People in this game have so much SP that they're... I have four proto suits. Going on my fifth proto suit. And yeah, heavies can be really annoying. And the thing that really bothers me is that people complain about not being able to take on a heavy, but I always see people trying to take on heavies in close quarters. Why are you attempting to engage a heavy in close quarters when it is big, slow, and has a high damage, short range weapon. Like, it just baffles my mind. So, <laughs> if you see a heavy, you engage him from long range. You don't run right up to him and try to kill him from 15 meters away. Like, I don't know. No offense, but the incompetence of a lot of people is very, very high, and they want to blame other people rather than themselves on how poorly they play which is a really, really bad habit. Like, <laughs> you see it in every game, you just see it in life. People don't want to admit that they're wrong or that they're playing poorly or that they're doing something poorly. They want to blame it on the mechanics. They didn't, you know, this guy's cheating. He's using OP crap. Uh, no, generally not. You're probably the one that just doesn't want to counter him properly. You want to try to bang your head up against the wall, run whatever you want to run, and try to make do with that. That's, I'm going to say, 90-some percent of pub matches is people that just want to run that same fit 
just that same fit that they, they have one fit, maybe two fits. And if that doesn't work, they'll complain that X is OP, that, you know, this thing is just too overpowered and there's no counter to it when they're just not using their heads. You know, this game isn't, there's some imbalance about it, but it's not as bad as people make it out to be. I'll be completely honest. I mean, I played this game for a very long time and compared to the balance now as to what it was before, it is very, very balanced. It's not, it's not perfect. There's still some things that are just not good, but the fact of the matter is this, the game is in the best state balance wise it has ever has been. And you guys really need to embrace that some more and you need to start using your heads more. When you die in a situation, ask yourself, what did I do wrong? Not blame it on something else. What did I do wrong? What can I do better? Why is my team redlined? Do I need to bring uplinks? Probably. You know, it's like, it's absolutely insane because it's amazing how much difference one player can do. I can't tell you how many pubs I go into and carry an entire team to victory. Like the entire team will go negative and I'm the one who carried them to victory. That's not me being egotistical. That's just me knowing how to play the game and being able to outsmart 16 other incompetent people. So, you know, it's not, this game isn't about having the best gun game. It isn't about having the best fit, you know, the best fit of the month. It's about knowing what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and what to use to get it done. So spend more time thinking about what you need to do rather than banging your head up against the wall, dying over and over, charging into a heavy, or running out in the open while there's a dude with a rail rifle parked on a roof, go up there and kill him, shoot the heavy from a distance. It's, it, you guys just are ridiculous sometimes. Like, absolutely freaking ridiculous. <laughs> you blame it on the dumbest stuff. Like, we all play the same game. We all play the same game that has the same mechanics for each and every one of us. It doesn't change from client to client. It doesn't change from PS3 to PS3. And the thing that really bothers me the most, too, is people complain about corpse like Nyan-san. Okay, I, at one point I was there. They were, they're very frustrating because they play well. They play very, very well. And I'm at the point of playing where I actually I respect corpse like Nyan-san who can efficiently stomp an ambush over and over again than I can a bunch of players who just refuse to try and use teamwork. And that's, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to people anymore because teamwork is overpowered and 95% of the time, I'm just making this that up, people don't want to use teamwork. Nobody want, everybody wants to be the one man army doing whatever and not using teamwork. You know, <laughs> a lot of squads, when they go into play, they complement each other. Their squad compositions all complement each other. A heavy and a lodgy with a scan scout. You know, use your heads, people. Start using them more. Stop blaming the game and start taking responsibility for your own actions. Savvy, glad we had this talk. I'll, I'm going to start doing more to try to help you guys, quote unquote, get good. Like, I will never be able to, you know, take the controller out of your hands and help you shoot better, but I can try to help you understand this game better. So, let's try that. So, until next time, my name is Moody. Get out there and use your brains.